Alright, so it's Mary Ang's 39th birthday. Charles, what's going on? We're traveling down Lombard, headed towards perhaps a 24 hour Starbucks to conclude the celebration of the 39th anniversary of the birth of Mary Renault Law. Mary, I can't speak. It's like I've got vicarious wine in Mary, the Mary, Mary Renault. Mary, <laughs> Mary, Mary Renault. Mary Renault. <laughs> Shall we have a little lighting, darling? You look so much oh, better with you. a little lighting. Thank you. Okay, I let me stop weaving now. Any better? All right, now. What so, was that aromatic stuff you put on me? That was patchouli, darling. No, it was Coco Stemma. It was a little more floral than your average patchouli. No, that was lavender. I'm sorry, that was lavender, dear. Right. Oh, how is that affecting you? <laughs> I feel cleansed. You feel cleansed? I feel cleansed. All right, then. All my thoughts about what's his name from Washington are quite clean. Who, from Washington, dear? <laughs> Charlie Hales? <laughs> you, yeah. You're not having any fantasies, are you now? Keith. Uh, oh, how we can monetize the Nog Chomper 4. <laughs> shall we, shall we, co monetize the Nog let's monetize the Nog Chomper 4. They are like the spokesmodels of this new Portland marketing campaign of come down to City Hall, get tarred and feathered by Charlie Hales. You too could have your name in Busted. So Busted's coming out next week. Featuring the Nog Chomper 4. Yes, who are... Are we taking incense to City Hall on Wednesday? Oh, the Nog Chomper Fool. Yeah, feel like we, we must go incense shopping. Very good. And then um, the Nog Chomper Fool are the stand-ins. They're like the stick of incense that must be burned to distract oneself from the fecal scent of a shooting victim's blood gushing out his side when a police chief named Larry O'Day just accidentally, supposedly accidentally, shoots somebody in the side of the back. And clearly, Mary Yang has a corkscrew, because if she dare come to City Hall and ask Charlie Hales to resign, it's clear that she must be some kind of domestic Nog Chomper for dangerous hippie radical. This is destined to be my world's greatest dash cam video. I know, I know, <laughs> darling. It's like, it's ever so hot topic. We Just imagine the corrupting influence this could have. Look at 14-year-olds all over Portland might just be looking at Buster saying, gee, I just want to so go to retro hot topic City Hall. that I'm Spencer's. You're what? I'm so retro hot topic that I'm actually Spencer's. I do remember Spencer's. I could never afford anything there, dear. Shall we go the speed limit, lest we be arrested for not going the speed limit? Mayor sent his goons to collect us from Columbia Marine Drive. Right, dear. Then what should we do for the last 19 minutes of my birthday besides making this movie dear that's not very interesting yet? Oh, well, we've had so much interesting in our life already. Should we call 911 on somebody? Perhaps <laughs> David Keith Davis? Did you I see the other corkscrew? I saw a corkscrew. I think I did. <laughs> it was in the bottom of a box. In a pile. Oh dear. I'm so worried about that. So, 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 so very worried about that corkscrew. What is the message? Should I get one? Does he just want me to drink my trouble away? He's trying to, <laughs> yes. he's trying to corrupt me, isn't he? He's saying I'm too sober-minded for the O'Day shooting scandal. Is that the message? More you, Moscato. Just like Chief O'Day, you need to have a little bit more in you. If I had a little bit more in me, I wouldn't have asked him to resign, because I would have said, oh, he's a hearty old chap, as long as he didn't shoot me. What's the problem? And then when I got down to the bottom of the dungeon, twi twisted and bruised, I felt, and those, those officers in that Facebook video, they weren't in any big hurry to arrest this dangerous yeah, woman. They were just loitering about like some more teenagers paid by the hour to crash a city hall meeting and do some random sting operation on some random distraction with the central precinct booking overtime. Such a good thing to have a job these days, arresting random citizens who want to give their free speech for free. They're free good advice, such as resign Charlie Hales. I think we really need to, like, encourage uh, the fine Asian Mr. Shu to have a motion to dismiss. Motion Betty. to dismiss, thank you. Because... There was no urgency. They brutalized well, me on no a false pretense. Like That's in a lie. A lie to 911. Thank I you. I don't think in any of the PDFs, huh. the police reports, there's any point where... Anybody says hmm. that a trespass warning was given. No, there wasn't. And there's video evidence to prove 
that Michael Cohen was is so disenchanted with his stupid job for G4S that he could not even get up the courage to ask us to leave. And as he's so slowly mumbling to himself, his way of describing this in his report is, I was so gracious, I was so gracious to, as to ask them to leave. But he did not graciously do anything. He sat down mumbling like a little potato on a, on a, on a desk. He couldn't even stand up because he's so humiliated that I had asked him not to bully people anymore. So he was following my orders, which was not to be a bully, and he, he made out okay, he didn't brutalize us, and neither did Mike Miller, and I'm rooting for G4S because I had their backs so they didn't brutalize anyone that day. And it was Angstrom, it put it back on the PPB. They tried to outsource their brutality to G4S, and I intercepted that by controlling them. I controlled them with my kindness and my good advice that they don't do that anymore, don't touch Keith. Don't bother anyone. Yeah. How did you like that? Cut.